From Jerusalem, where Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney is auditioning for a position on the world stage. This evening, we note that Election Day is now just 100 days from today. This evening, Romney and his wife Anne are having dinner with an old friend, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Romney and Netanyahu worked together years ago. Earlier today, Romney visited the Western Wall, where he placed a prayer he'd written inside the wall. Tonight, Romney delivering a speech here in Israel saying, quote, we have a moral imperative to deny Iran's leaders the means to follow through on their malevolent intentions. Right beforehand, he sat down with us. We talked about the threat of Iran, about the incoming fire from Democrats back home over his tax returns, and we talked about the all-important debates against President Obama, how he thinks the president will perform. Thank you. Uh, Governor Romney, Mitt, it's a pleasure to welcome you in uh, Jerusalem. Calling him Mitt, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcomed an old friend to Israel. Netanyahu and Romney worked together years ago. And now Romney is looking to send a message that that friendship matters at a time when a staunch American ally wrestles with what to do about Iran. One of your advisors said of you today that you would respect Israel's decision to strike Iran on its own. Would you support an Israeli strike on Iran? I think I'll use my own terms in that regard, and that is that I recognize the right of Israel uh, to defend itself. Uh, at the same time, we are, uh, as two nations, both committed to employing every means we have to keep Iran from pursuing their nuclear folly. And that means every diplomatic uh, course, uh, economic uh, forces as well. Uh, sanctions are beginning to have a greater impact on Iran. You talk about some of those options, diplomacy, tough sanctions. It sounds an awful lot like what we hear from the Obama administration. Is there a difference? You know, I, I gave an address five years ago. An address in Tel Aviv, outlining what he thought should be done about Iran. It's taken a long time uh, for some of those steps to be executed. Some are still not yet executed. Like what? I, I, uh, I, 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 being on foreign soil, uh, I, I simply don't want to attack the president or his policies, uh, nor make new foreign policy. He told me he wishes there had been tougher sanctions on Iran earlier. As Romney makes this trip overseas to burnish his foreign credentials, he knows the politics continue back home. While in London, Romney reiterated he will release two years and two years only of his taxes, just as John McCain did. We know that there was one year when you paid about a 13.9 percent tax rate. Can we clear this up by, by asking you a simple yes or no question? Was there ever any year when you paid lower than the 13.9 percent? Well, I haven't calculated that. I'm happy to go back and look, but uh, uh, my view is I, I have paid all the taxes required by law. I don't pay more than are legally due. And frankly, if I had paid more than are legally due, I don't think I'd be qualified to become president. I think people would want me to follow the law uh, and, and pay only what, uh, what the tax code requires. You say you would go back and look. You'd look for us? I, I, I haven't looked at uh, the tax rate paid year by year. Uh, I know that I pay a very substantial amount of taxes uh, in every year uh, since the beginning of, uh, of my career, so far as I can recall. The Romney campaign has made it clear that no matter how many years they release, it will not stop the Obama campaign from wanting more. We also talked London, where Romney and his wife Anne went to the opening ceremonies, the swimming competition, and of course those headlines when Romney expressed reservations about how well the games would go. If you got a do-over, would you answer it the same way? Uh, you know, I tend to tell people what I actually believe, and uh, the comments that were made in the media is, uh, is something which, uh, which I felt uh, was an honest reflection of, of what was being concerned, uh, or what was concerning po folks. And with just 100 days now until the election, Romney told us when it comes to the debates, He'll be prepared. Do you think the president is going to be a formidable opponent on that debate stage? Absolutely. Uh, the president was a very effective debater uh, in the last round. Uh, he's a, a brilliant orator. Uh, I would expect him to be very effective on the debate stage. But Governor Romney also telling me that he believes four years later on that debate stage, it will not be about just words, but about two different courses, two different paths for America to choose from. The governor one-on-one -on -one with us here today.